guess where we are today? Prelob Keylob. So we're gonna come in and see if it's really worth it to hand pick your vintage clothing and you know maybe find a bargain at a very good price. Let's go in. Okay, so we're in Camden and it's the very first time I'm in one of these massive uh, kilo sales. So basically the concept is you go in, you pick your stuff, hand pick your stuff and then you fill up a bag and then you pay per kilo. It's like 15 pounds a kilo. These guys are do everywhere. They do in Acne, they do in central London, in Camden today. Um, I don't know if it's worth looking at it, but it's the, it's the very first time. So let's see if we can find any bargain today. Um, yeah, let's, you know, let's check it out. Basically, there's all sections like there's like denim jackets, there's like um, sweaters, trousers, jeans. So let's start looking into the denim jackets if we find something. I love denim jackets. Um, yeah, and lots of stuff. Lots, lots of the stock is coming from uh, from Italy. So if we like, we might find some some of the Paninaro stuff from the 80s because it's uh, from the 50s to the 2000s. So it could be anything. That could be cool. It's an American, you know. And it seems from the 80s as well. Looking into the, the jackets, I found this. This is like a proper 80s masterpiece, the Keyway. I think it was French, uh, the brand. I need to look it up. And basically, this this jacket will fold inside this uh, the pocket. It's been redone re uh, recently, but this is this is this is an original one. It's, it's really cool. I've seen a few of the colorful puffer jacket. Let's have a look. Is it any Montclair? <coughs> uh, close enough. Colour is there. Uh, it looks like it's now unbranded. But you know. If you're on a pin, why not? Oh, this one's love these. You see that telling you guy with the like sky ski, skiing jackets. That's an ABS piece. Yellow puffer jacket. Oh my god, we probably get something here. Hang on a sec. Need yeah. to look at this one. I can recognize from a mile. Yeah. You can see it. You can see it. Oh my lord. Let me have a look. Yes. Henry Lloyd by Almas Caretti. What's the sound? Oh my god, it's an S. I got, I got, I got a medium, and these are massive. Oh my god, I need to try. I haven't got a blue one. I got a green one. This is like the staple, the Panamera staple. It's my size. I need to go S. Oh my god. buttons as well great condition too I 
That's a good find. That's an amazing find. Can't believe it. They're almost closing down as well. Literally 10 minutes. Baguette, baguette. There is really so much in here. Like, I would love to check them all. But, I mean, I just bagged like a piece. So, but really, I should look at all of these beautiful flannel jacket, uh, flannel shirts and see which one can be, you know, the right brand. But there's too many. Look, no. get it again so late. But, but, we bagged it. Henry Lloyd console jacket. Alright, so I think we're out of time. I uh, couldn't find anything else but you know I'm happy with that. So let's see we're gonna pay now. Should be by by the kilo. Uh, do I pay here? Oh yeah. Go through that top okay. and then turn right again alright. Thank you. I guess I'm at the wrong place. We pay up there. <laughs> Friend, sixteen fifty, please. Oh, cool. that's the money. I've got to face the camera. Not filming him. Uh, <laughs> All yours. That's a bargain. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, alright. And that, that was a good thrift thing, I would say. That was a good uh, uh, buy. I mean, where is it? It's here. Hey there, you notice I've got another one. Yeah. I mean, I, you know. That, that one has been with me for a while. It's interesting, we're gonna look at it because um, the one I just found, it's by Olmes. So it's the wine designed by Olmes Caretti. Rather, this one, which looks identical, is not. Uh, and the colorway is very similar. Um, let's first introduce this jacket, you, because you might not know why I'm so excited. And basically, this consort jacket, uh, it's from Henry Lloyd. Henry Lloyd is a British brand made by two uh, sailors. Uh, Henry is the surname of one of them, and no, Lloyd is the surname of one of them, and Henry is, the na is his name. And um, basically, uh, Henry is Polish and Lloyd was uh, English. And this jacket has been produced since 1963, 1965. Um, but I knew about it uh, only when in 1984, Old Mescarretti uh, was called to design the urban version of this jacket. So this was always made with Italian weaving, very durable nylon but in this design uh, was introduced in 1984 by Olmes Carretti. The differences mainly, I will put one on the screen, is in the uh, the way the pockets are designed. So here you will see that the pockets are straight like you can see here they're straight And in the original jacket, they are like on a slant, they're here, uh, much more technical. These are a lot more easy to reach while you, you know, not on a boat. Um, and also the colorway. Um, and I believe that Olmes introduced the, um, the neck to, because before it was all made in uh, nylon, so it was colder, I believe. So it just made, almost just designed a, a more open version of it. I would say that, um, and also, yes, the um, 
pocket that was on a slant would have the uh, uh, British flag. So um, that's that's the other the other little thing. And actually, I do have one. It's in Italy, unfortunately, in my storage. But I do have one uh, not designed by Olmos Caret, so pre 1984. Um, this suddenly became a big hit and a staple piece that every Paninaro wardrobe should should have. Uh, and in 1980, from 1984, I mean, I remember we we would hope wear, you know, an Henry Lloyd uh, with our Montclair, with other brands, or with other jacket, with a shot or whatever. But you know, for win for winter and the colder season, the rainy season, uh, the Henry Lloyd was a must. So. Um, let's get into the style. How would you style this? Okay, so for the styling, first of all, this is a size S, which to be honest, it's a lot better for me. Uh, as you might know now, I'm a medium or comfort medium. I mean, in Stone Island, for example, this is a large, I like a little bit baggier, but uh, yeah, I'm a medium. Uh, and with the Henry Lloyd by Olmes Caretti, you always want to go at least one to two sizes down. So I've always owned a medium size. I'm actually going to wear that first. And as you can see, it's a little bit long on the, on the arms. Uh, I, I love this colorway though. I mean, this colorway was like amazing at the time um, it's okay I mean on a medium it's just I would say it's just one size down but I always wanted to see how would work on a two sizes down so on a, on a small so I would say if you want a baggy style it's still okay it's just a slightly long for me on on the arms it's just right to be honest um, and I, you can see it's very easy to reach in the pocket. I, lo I love this jacket. While I drive on a scooter, you just open up the bottom. You can see there's two, you know, two zips. And there you go. You can, you can ride your scooter or your motorbike. It's very easy. And I love it's really comfortable. I mean, the original one, the one with the, the other logo, the previous old Mascaretti, it will be a lot more tight. And there's one thing I really love about this jacket, and I remember almost correct in an interview, I'll try to find it and put it down below, it would be in Italian, but he said, this is a jacket that has a sound, a voice, and it's this one. And it's true. I mean, I still have, you know, in my mind, the, this sound, you, you would know someone was wearing it because you could hear, you know, like, the sound of the nile and you know anyway um this is the small and as you can see just fits so much right right on my arms you see just perfect just perfect a little bit more tight and i would say that uh blue is just a wonderful color i'm so happy with this This is it. Cool. So to close it, um, I would say this was a good find. I don't know if I've been just lucky, but if you're in London, actually if you're in the UK, pre-loved kilo, uh, it's everywhere. Uh, it was my very first time, I would say thrifting. I don't even know if it's the right word, but anyway, looking for vintage clothing in these massive kilo sales. There's more than one in the UK happening. But I've never been in one of them. I never, you know, I've always been, you know, I always thought it was a bit of a waste of time and not find what you need, what you're looking for. Because Paninaro is such a niche, precise bunch of items that I, I always worried, may, you know, maybe just a waste of time. But actually, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. And then you've seen before, you know, there were, there were a couple of things that, you know, were wearable. Uh, and I, I have to say, I only spent 30 minutes in there. 
Uh, I went late, it was closing down. So in that time, uh, find this, to me, it's a, a very good sign. I know that there's another one, but if you leave me a comment down below and you think I should do more of this, I, I definitely want to pack a few more trips when they're down to London again. If you've done it so far, please consider subscribing. I really would like to grow my audience, you know, and have the possibility for each thousand followers to use the stories, the poll, uh, the community, um, and grow the channel, really. So, yeah, if you've done it so far, please consider subscribing and see you to the next one.